Imagine this, you're in Central Park, minding your own business. You notice the Central Park Zoo, closed, cramped, surrounded by cement skyscrapers on every side. Not exactly the most humane place to keep animals, right? As a hero, you'd have to free those poor, imprisoned creatures. Well, that's exactly what an unlikely hero did. In issue 54, volume 3 of The Silver Surfer, our favorite herbivore-themed character, the rhino, ran into Central Park to release all of those poor animals. Typically a villain, actually almost always a villain, rhino isn't really known for his soft side. No, he's the dude who huffs and puffs and tries to beat Spider-Man up and down New York City. So watching the poor big buffoon breaking open cages was a bit heartwarming. It's nice to know that beneath that rough gray hide of his, there's a heart. A super selfish heart that loves to rob bank vaults, but a heart nonetheless. So after witnessing Rhino on a bit of a cage-breaking rampage, the Silver Surfer decides to intervene. Just like every story involving Silver Surfer and fisticuffs, the former Herald of Galactus got his ass kicked at first. For those of you who are only recently getting to know Norn Rad, he tends to get beat up a lot. He's a peaceful spirit, after all. He loves all manner of creation, big or small, and hates to use his immense power to combat them. So he allows Rhino to toss him around the zoo a bit. The horned villain actually thinks he might score a KO victory at one point, but Silver Surfer sets him straight. With a mild blast of the power cosmic, he sends Rhino flying across the zoo. When Rhino recovers, he finds himself standing opposite the silver bat from space. The two lock eyes, Rhino blinded by his love of the cute fuzzy animals in their cages, decides it's time to break out his special move, the horn. Channeling the spirit of his African namesake, he crouches down, turns his horn downwards, and charges Surfer. And the Silver Surfer does what any dope, overpowered space dude would do. He halts Rhino with a single hand. Grasping Rhino's horn, the Silver Surfer uses his power cosmic fueled might to leverage the baddie to his knees. It's one of the greatest comic book panels ever. It perfectly encapsulates everything that I love about Marvel Comics. These two characters from such wildly different corners of the Marvel Universe, with such radically divergent reasons for existing, interacting in a random tale. Not only that, they fight over the ethics of modern zoos. That's wild. It's it's like watching Teddy Roosevelt trade barbs with Ronald McDonald about the sanctity of life on Mars. It's bizarre, but awesome. Look at this panel. It's the perfect Bronze Age piece of art. I know it was published well into the modern age, but come on. Those yellow orbs of energy, the face full of teeth, images of villainous rhino, and the uncoded printing that screams five for a dollar bin comics. It's damn near the most perfect thing I've ever seen. Before I go too far as the creepy dude reminiscing about the good old days of comics, I should probably tell you how this story ends. Silver Surfer, the friend making son of a gun that he is, winds up teaching Rhino the error of his ways. Together, they repair the zoo that Rhino had just moments ago been in the process of destroying, and another conflict was resolved under the steady hand of the Silver Surfer. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, with great power comes great responsibility.